Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the table. Today, we're taking a look at a new knife from O Knife. And so, this right here is the Borzoi. So, this is a relatively new release. So, this one I picked up direct from Amazon because, for whatever reason, um, this initial drop of knives, they did not release on their actual O Light or O Knife website. They chose to release some on Amazon.com. So, again, I bought this from Amazon. So, not direct from O Light like I normally would buy their knives. But either way, the package is here now. So this is the Borzoi. And it's kind of interesting. This is, of course, the name of a dog breed. Um, and so some of the other earlier O knives also are named after dog breeds. There's the Beagle and the Drever, which we'll see on table in just a minute. So I don't know if they're going for a theme because some of their knives are not dog names. So I'm not sure why some are or some aren't. Uh, but let's take a look at this knife right here. So we have some specs on the package, a D2 steel blade, G10 handles, and the weight is advertised as 2.58 ounces. So we'll see if that's accurate as well. But let's just take a look at the knife out of the box. So right here we have the O-Knife logo. Um, just the information. And we have the pouch. So fairly straightforward. In here I think all we have is some more paperwork and usually a little cleaning cloth. So yeah. So this right here with the O-Knife logo. Just a little microfiber. So fairly sh simple, straightforward packaging. But one thing I've liked about the O knife series is that the packaging is very attractive for if you are going to um, gift the knife or give it away, um, because of course it's very colorful, you know, very bright and vibrant. Um, so it's obvious when you give this knife, you know exactly what you're getting. So packaging there, let's put that aside. And this is the O knife itself. They have all so far come with this little uh, pouch, this nylon pouch with a Velcro opener. So let's check out the Borzoi right here. And um, one thing I did see commented earlier is you'll notice there is a pocket here in the pouch for a coin. Um, but sadly, for whatever reason, they did not include a coin with this newest version of these knives. So the Borzoi and another recent model did not include the standard O knife coin, which in my opinion is kind of a way to drop the ball because if people are collecting these things, having an incomplete collection of coins is going to drive people nuts. And you just kind of turned off a whole lot of collectors. So I think that's a big mistake on O-Knife's part to not include a coin. It's not a big deal in the end, of course, if you're just looking to purchase a knife. But if you're a completionist collector, you're going to have all the coins in hand and suddenly you have a knife and uh, no coin to go with it. You know, that's going to drive people up the wall. So I think that was a tactical mistake on the part of O-Knife and O-Lite. Um, probably to save a couple of bucks, but not cool. Don't get cheap on me, Dodson. Um, what we have, though, the knife itself. Let's take a look. <laughs> Rant semi over. So right here we have this looks to be a frame lock design with a G10 scale right here. You can see some texturing on there, kind of like a slight sunburst pattern. It's not super grippy. Um, and it looks to be a front flipper. And this is all new to me because when I bought this knife, I kind of saw the picture in profile, but I didn't really do any research. I just kind of purchased it sight unseen because I am a fan of the O knife branding. Um, but what we have right here, before we even open it, we can see this, the blue accents on the backspacer slash lanyard hole, as well as the pivot. We have a deep carry pocket clip. It looks to be single position only. Um, I do like the black blacked out look to it. And it's nice and smooth. You can see the pocket clip does not have any protruding screws. So that's very nice. It should be smooth in and out of pocket. And this appears to be a front flipper with a little tiny notch right here. So I suppose you could open it by hand with two hands. But let's see how it front flips for the first time. All right. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> All right. So taking a look, let's take a look at the overall length of this knife. So let's hold it up to the ruler right here. Overall length of this knife is about seven and a half inches and the blade length looks to be a little over three. So maybe about three and a quarter inches of cutting edge right there. So you can check that out. All right. And so of course this is an overseas manufactured knife like O, o lights, O knives. They're all from China um, on the blade right here that we can see this is a D2 steel blade have the markings just like the box said the O-Knife logo, and this looks to be a nice stone wash, which is nice. I do appreciate a stone washed blade. Um, to me, that is much more preferred over a satin blade because a satin blade tends to be a fingerprint magnet, 
and I prefer stone wash for that reason alone. On the reverse side, we can see the name of the knife, the Borzoi, as well as a number up here. This is likely a serial number. I have seen this same style of number on my other O knives as well. Taking a look at the lockup, let's just flip it a few times before we look at the lockup. You know, it's easy enough to flip. Check out the action, very nice. But looking at this frame lock design, Lockup is full and secure. It looks like right at the halfway point on the lock bar. So that's kind of nice. And this does appear to run on bearings. Yeah, feeling how smooth that is looking in the side there. Yeah, this is on bearings. So even though it has this nail nick, yeah, you could open it with a nail if you didn't want to use the front flipper because it's not always um, appropriate and depending on your setting to come out with a knife and boom, you know, ninja flip it every time. Um, but I do appreciate the shape of the blade. This just looks like a very utilitarian drop point blade. So that's kind of nice. So let's take a look at the centering as well. Centering looks excellent. No issues there. And uh, we can do a few size comparisons as well because I have a couple of other O knives on the table with me. So let's open up the borzoi <laughs> the borzoi and so let's just lay this out flat we'll put it down in that direction and so we can compare this to the o knife beagle and this beagle right here um satin blade i think this is also is this d2 as well oh, actually no this is 154 cm interesting but we have the micarta scales on this one so let's take a look side by side right there so a little bit smaller than the beagle and uh, my other knife here on the table is the O Knife Drever. So this was one of their first knife releases. And this one has the uh, American flag aluminum scales. A little bit bigger. And this one I think was also, this one is N690. So three different O Knives, three different blade steels. And uh, so as far as I am aware, all three of these knives and all of the O Knife brand knives are actually manufactured by Kaiser knives. So if you own any Kaisers and you're familiar with that um, quality of knife, you know what you're getting here. And so as the O knives have been released, they appear to be a little bit more and more and more refined. Um, one thing that tells me that for certain is when we look at these pocket clips, again, they're all deep carry pocket clips. But what we're getting here on this latest iteration, like I said, you can see there's a smooth transition in this area right here. Whereas the earlier designs slightly are raised and the screws are still flat screws. So it should still be in and out of pocket relatively easy. Um, but that is just some refinement that we can see. And uh, given that this particular knife is a frame lock compared to liner locks for these two, um, they didn't really have too much of an opportunity to, to mill it out. Wait, actually take a look in there. I'm actually kind of impressed. If you look inside the handle right here, you can see they didn't mill out the steel frame lock here for weight. So that's kind of cool. I'm impressed by that. I was about to say they probably didn't because generally you don't mill out the steel side of the frame lock here. So that's kind of cool. But uh, let's check on the weight because it was advertised as 2.58 ounces. And so I'll just pull out my scale really quick and we will see if that is accurate. Okay. 2.64, yeah, that's within a margin of error, you know, so 2.6, 2.5 ounces. Um, that's definitely a very good size, a uh, very good weight for a knife of this size. Three and a quarter inch blade, seven and a half inches long. This is a great EDC sized knife. So this is the O-Knife Borzoi. Edge feels super sharp. I can just tell with that. Let me check for any burrs. Absolutely none. Very nice, very classy looking. So this is a gentleman's carry from O Knife. If that is of interest to you, again, the only downside I could tell is that for whatever reason, O Knife decided to cheap out and not give us a coin <laughs> with this knife. So the collectionist in me is going to be irked by that. And so if that's the case for you, maybe hey, maybe you'll pass on this knife for that reason, because there are a lot of great knives out in the world. Um, but O Knife needs to really differentiate themselves if they want a piece of this market share. So by all means, if you have any questions about the O-Knife Borzoi, feel free to leave a comment below. Other than that, I hope you all have a nice day and thank you for watching. See ya.